take one. Hey guys, um, so this is our uh, kitchen area or our dining area, and we have a Laguna swivel stand. So you can move it, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, it's nice because you can get out of the way, and then when we're ready to put the girls to bed at night, our our bunk here, you just slide it out. Voila, you're done. You got a. Uh, and then their beds are up there and you just pull those out. So I've had a lot of questions since originally posting the video of the van on the bunk set up. And uh, if you've watched previous video, there's a dinette table there that usually sits out. The middle cushions go as the backrest along the sides and uh, it's on a swivel top so it can move around as we need to sit in it. Um, the bunk, uh, just as everything else in the van is 80-20 aluminum. The main mount for the bunk is a one by three. Uh, and I found to try to get level in the van, uh, there were some factory holes near where those bolts were and a riv nutted, put four riv nuts in, um, mounted these to both sides of the van uh, at a height that I felt like at the time would be good for the girls. And then, as you can see, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one inch, 80, 20, 10 series bars that run from, so this bar and this outside bar are attached by this one by one. And then this bar and the bar over there are attached by opposing one by ones. And what that does is on the inside of every moving bar, I have a nylon washer and a nylon bolt. Um, so it's completely mechanical. There's no ball bearing or anything. I wanted to just a simple, simple design. And it actually, when this board is up and put over this board, everything pushes back. And I'm gonna, gonna show that here in a second, but I just wanted you to be able to see what it looks like set up. Um, and then I'll show you from the inside and I'll show you uh, what it would look like when we have the dinette set up, so. So the bunk is in the closed position now. If you see uh, these one by one 80, 20 bars, they're all parallel to each other now. And it's all tucked in approximately two feet wide when it's pushed in, uh, about four feet wide when it's pulled out. I do have three quarter inch plywood shaved out and we did it in a um, design of uh, mountain range. The front side we actually cut out look like the Tetons, but um, that three quarter inch plywood is also serves to give some support to the bars. It's plenty sturdy enough. We've had, um, my wife's been up there with the kids before. We've had some, some um, older children that have laid on it just to kind of test it out. Uh, seems very sturdy. Uh, everything is put together, I made uh, L brackets, um, for everything, all quarter inch bolts, locking nuts. So very sturdy. And one of the other things that was a goal of this van, everything's hard mounted to the structure of the van. So if we are in an accident, hopefully nothing's breaking loose or flying across the inside. But yeah, that's, that's the setup we came with that's worked well for us so far. Um, you know, the, Everybody's kind of got to their own, but the biggest thing I can recommend is if you are starting to build, just maybe spend some time in the van with some different thoughts and setups, set up some boxes, set up anything you can just to see what a mock layup would be like walking around. Um, because that's what I did. I spent a lot of time of what would really work for us. So, but 
Best luck on your build. Thanks for watching.